Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So here's a new video for you all. Do enjoy the video and don't forget to click on the bell icon so that you won't miss any updates from my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna do acrylic painting of hydrangea flowers and trust me, it's really easy and they are look uh, gonna look really beautiful. So just stay with me, watch the full video to know how I did it. Okay, so the first thing we'll do uh, is give the background to the canvas and I'm choosing the sky background here and because as I'm not putting the hydrangea flower into a pot it's just sky like it's in the bushes and outside area so what I'll do to make a uh, cloudy sky is I'll paint the thing with the blue color and then dab it with the tissue to give it a cloudy um, little bit of tinge okay so the later words what we'll do is we'll choose some colors of our hydrangea I'm choosing purple mauve and purple and then uh, a pink color so I'm just choosing two colors of hydrangeas you can choose sky blue or blue as well so I'm giving making these circles with the purple color wherever I want to make my flowers and just make sure the down part of the circle should be darker to give it uh, to show that the the shadows down and the light is coming from up so put uh, keep the upper side of the circle light and the down side dark and just keep doing it same with the other flowers I'm using some red color and uh, putting some titanium white in it to give it a pink uh, shade so as you can see now I'm placing my pink color uh, flower over here as you can see uh, you can just change uh, you can make the flower bigger or small it's on you so just now the next step is to make some little flowers on top of the circle i'm using some titanium white again to make this four petal um little flowers on top of it so the spaces that will leave in between the flowers uh, that is the background that we painted already so it will come through uh, these spaces so that's why we did the dark shade down and upper upper one light so in through the spaces as you can see the purple the dark purple you can see through them so again what we'll do here is later words we'll keep on adding some little bit of purple as well and it will give a nice 3d structure to our flower so the cute keep doing the same thing with the other flowers as well Okay, so I finished making my um, petals, small petals on top of the uh, the circle, and now you can see they are looking really great. So the next step for us is to make the leaves. So either you can choose these bigger, broader leaves, uh, like uh, particularly that we do, and otherwise you can just paint the whole space that is left behind with green color and some darker shades of green and the later words on top of the darker shades keep adding smaller lighter shade petals and so i'll go on and i'll just fill the whole thing spaces between uh, green and i'll show you how um, it will look okay so this is what i did with the whole uh, background or the space between all these flowers i added some dark olive color uh, in the spaces and then later words i kept uh, on adding more and more lighter shade leaves on top of it and the spaces that are left behind or between the leaves i'm adding uh, small amount of black or either you can use green green olive color dark green olive color but it's best to use little bit of uh, black 
darkish color if you can and it will look good because it will give it a more depth to the whole painting so just keep on adding uh, dark shades in between the spaces so that you know the whole area will look um, like it's there's a lot of shadow in between the bushes okay so what uh, i'll do now is i think i'm done with the leafy part so the next step is just to do some last uh, touches if you have any so i think the sky should look more darker so i'm just adding more color to it and then later on again i'm going to do some tissue paper dabbing on top of it so give it a cloudy structure so now i think the color is fine so the last thing is i'll add some smaller uh, you know four petal white flowers in between the leaves so that it will look like a new uh, you know budding hydrangea flowers in between the bushes and it will look you know, give it a nice um, you know feel to the whole painting <music> so what i did is i made three more flowers um, again as you can see on top of in the corner with the pur two purples in the corner and the uh, pink one again on top of it because i thought that you know the flowers are a little bit less just like <laughs> added three more flowers but it's on you if you want to add more than that if you want to fill the whole painting with the flowers and so in, even that is a great option Okay guys so I think I'm done now I'm just doing some last touch ups here and there so I think our acrylic painting is finished but do share your um, ideas with me about this video if you liked it or not and if you want to see me doing any other acrylic paintings that you have in your mind just um, do tell me in your comments and uh, share my video like it and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click on the subscribe button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet do subscribe it and give me a big thumbs up okay till then bye bye see you next time